Hi guys, thank you so so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. And tell your friends that your girl Fenzel Fenzel has got a YouTube channel. So guys, today I will be talking all things CAF. All things CAF Champions League, guys. So what is CAF? CAF stands for Confederation of African Football. So basically, the Confederation of African Football. So as we know, um, CAF football is actually going back very, very soon. What is CAF Champions League football? This is when Africa's best of the best teams come together in one huge clash. So um, in South Africa, we've only had two teams who've ever won the Champions League. Paris won it in 1995 and Mamelodi Sundowns won it in 2016. So how do you identify a team that has won a Champions League trophy? Um, basically, most, most teams have like a star around their badge or on top of, um, on top of their badges. And that's how, how you'll know how many Champions League trophies they've won. So just to give you guys a brief background of what's been happening and what to expect. So last year, we had Orlando Pirates and Mamelodi Sundowns qualify for um, CAF Champions League. And how do you qualify, guys? So if you, the two teams that have, that ended at the top of the logs are going to be playing in the CAF Champions League. So last year, we had Pirates and Mamelodi Sundowns. Mamelodi Sundowns got knocked out in the quarterfinals by the Egyptian side Al Ali. Um, so who won last year? The Egyptian side Al Ali under former coach Mamelodi Sundown, former Mamelodi Sundowns coach Pizzo. So let me give you guys a brief background of what's been happening for me in like the biggest news in African football. So former Mamelodi Sundowns coach Pizzo Musimani left for the Egyptian side Al Ali in October at the end of the PSL season. So guys, if you know, you will know very well that Pizzo Musimani, wow, he came to Sundowns and did the most amazing things. I think as Sundown supporters, we couldn't be happier, you know. Um, he came and won and the last season before he left guys, he, we won a treble. Pito Misimani came through for Mamelodi Sundowns and they won a treble. What is a treble guys? They won the Telcom Knockout, they won um, the Net Bank Cup and they won the Absa Premiership. So they won the league as well in one year. And then Coach Pito Musimani moved to um, Al Ali in October and also won the treble there, guys. And also went on to win the CAF Champions League Cup for them in that in the same year. So um, basically, Pito Musimani got two trebles in one year and a CAF Champions League trophy. And he won Coach of the Year. I mean, guys, if 2020 was not Coach Pito's year, then... I mean, I don't know. So when he um, took over, he took from uh, coach, he took uh, away from the coach, coach Renee Wheeler. Yes, Renee Wheeler, who also was very, um, was actually encouraging to put some money coming to the Egyptian side, which was absolutely, absolutely great to see. Guys, for me, Pizzo Musimani just made history. Um, it's not even about football history anymore. It's about uh, black history. No black man has ever done what he's doing. Um, no black man has ever coached all the way up there in Africa and doing all the things that he's doing. So as an African and as a black person, I am super, super proud. As, as a South African, I am super, super, super proud. Oh guys, and then Al-Akhli is also actually moving. Al-Akhli will be playing in the Club World Cup. Club World Cup, guys, this is when all of the continent's Champions League champions come together in one huge clash. So they might be playing against um, Liverpool, uh, Bayern Munich. I know there's a Qatar side. We still, I think, waiting for the Brazilian side, Brazilians to the South Americans to actually have a, a champion, or I think they already have one already. So yeah, guys, I'm looking forward to that and looking forward to um, the team that Coach Pito's gonna put out and what they can do. So good luck to them. We'll be watching. 
So in our group stages, guys, so the CAF Champions League um, has been put in four group stages. We have group A to D. In group A, we have Al Ali from Egypt, um, AS Vita Club from the Congo, we have Sumba SC from Tanzania, and Al Maraik from Sudan. And then in group B, we have TP Mazembe. Guys, I feel like I have an emotional connection to TP Mazembe. Um, so they are from, they are also from Congo. They have actually won five camp have Champions League trophies um, and also they are currently being coached by a young African coach guys he is 44 years old in football terms that is pretty young for a coach so yeah man looking forward to see what he's gonna bring I'm really really excited for to see the new coach and to see the team and yeah and who else do we have in group B we have Mamilodi Sundowns Cabo Yellow Cabo Yellow then we have Al Hilal from Sudan and A.R. Bazolid, Bazoli Dad. Woo, guys. Woo, my Arab. I don't believe it's true. From Algeria. Um, so, fun facts about the Group A and Group B. Um, so we have Al Maraik from Sudan, and we have um, Al Hilal from Sudan as well. So these two teams are actually separated by I think a hundred meters. So they are basically neighbors. Not. Um, I think the best comparison I can make to them is Orlando Pirates and Kaiser Chiefs. So uh, Al Maraik is in Group A with Al Ali and Al Hilal is in Group B with Mamelodi Sundowns. So Mamelodi Sundowns, Al Ali will be in the same place in the same time at the same time guys so this is really really exciting they might just pass each other by in their buses and just do a young wave um, I think it would be also very emotional if it ever does happen that they do bump into each other or whatever. It will be very emotional for the Sundowns players to be seeing <laughs> to be seeing Coach Pito and etc etc. But yeah we're looking forward to that. And then in Group C we have Widad Casablanca from Morocco, Horaya from Guinea, uh, Atlantico from Angola and Kaiser Chiefs from South Africa. Guys, Kaiser Chiefs is making a comeback to the CAF Champions League in like... Um, I'm very excited for them because I mean they did finish second in the PSL uh, after the Premiership. So yeah, man, they did earn it, I guess. I don't think they are in the greatest shape right now to be playing CAF Champions League football, but anything can happen. We know that Samir Nokovic just came back, so he can actually just make things happen. We have Happy Mashiani, who's also great and Jabulo Bloom these young boys are doing absolutely amazing so I don't know they might just kill it in these group stages um, also in group C we have so group C actually these teams a why that Casablanca um, Horaya and Atlantico from Angola are usually placed with Mamilodi Sundowns so they have some sort of experience when it comes to playing South African players so South African teams so it's going to be very 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 interesting that group is going to be very very interesting to watch and then lastly we have Group D we have Esperance from Tunisia we have Zamalek from Egypt we have AC Alga from Algeria and Tunez FC from Senegal so guys, this group was also a very interesting group. Um, in the quarterfinals, there was Zamalek and Esperance. Esperance got knocked out by Zamalek in the quarterfinals last year. So this, um, when they come together and to clash, it's going to be a really, really, really hectic one because now it's revenge now. Now we're fighting now because you took us out of the quarterfinals and now we're fighting. So it's going to be very interesting to watch them. Also interesting to watch Zamalek, um, they were knocked out in the finals by Al Ali um, and I mean guys that was also a very interesting game with um, Zamalek and Al Ali because it was like a Chiefs and Pirates of Egypt so yeah man it was very interesting to watch and I guess it was great for Egypt as a whole because an Egyptian team won, an Egyptian team was going to win anyway. So yeah, and then the Zamalek team, no, that's uh, Esperance team, is being coached also by a young coach, guys. He is 39 years old and he's also from Tunisia. I think he was a former player for Tunisia. So yeah, um, I think that's great. I think bringing out young coaches 
and young local African coaches. I mean, we're already seeing what Coach Pito is doing, um, leading by example, Rulani Mukwena, Steve Kompela, all these black African coaches doing amazing things and proving to the world and African, uh, other African countries and teams that, you know, you're actually good. They can actually do big things other than going to European countries and getting coaches who, you know, sometimes I feel like it's confusing for players and confusing for them. So when you get local coaches, um, the playing style is easier and whatsoever. So yeah, um, I'll be looking forward to CAF Champions League football, guys. I don't know who exactly I have my money on, but obviously, I mean, obviously I have my money on my Melody Sundowns, hoping that we get the second star. Piso Misimani left us with a very heavy heart because, um, you know, we were supposed to fetch that second star. So hopefully, Rulani Mokwena, um, Coach Mangnoba and Steve Kompela will finish off what Mami Lodi Sundowns started and get that second star. And also, I would really love to see Keizo Chiefs get really, really far in the group stages, guys. Anything can happen in football. Who knows? They might even get to the quarterfinals and to the finals. So, also having my fingers crossed for, for Keizo Chiefs. I just have my fingers crossed for South Africa, guys. Like, really? I just want South Africa to get a Champions League trophy. I mean, it's been uh, how many years? Six years, four years, guys, four years. So hopefully this year we'll get it and we'll be celebrating and we'll be champions all over again. So yeah, I hope you guys will be watching. Please do comment, um, comment on the players and the teams that you would like for me to watch out for. There's a lot happening in African football now, so I think we're all we're all going to be tuned in. So comment on the players you'd like for me to watch and the teams you would like for me to look out for in. Um, this current CAF Champions League clash. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.